Matt yells so much. Thank you, everyone. When we were out at the creek, I told you guys a few different spots to look for gold. Anyone remember what I said? Places where gold often falls Inside out? Inside corner behind a rock. Inside corner and behind a rock. You got them both. Gentlemen, pay attention up here, please. Okay, there are all sorts of uh, little tricks and hints about where we look for gold in a creek to try to find, have the best chances of finding those few pieces that actually have fallen out in the creek that you can access and pan out. There's a few tricks we do. And uh, we talked about a couple in the creek, the behind the rock, the inside corner. I'm going to talk a bit more today about corners in creeks and why we look in certain spots, where we look, and a little bit of sort of how gold reacts to flowing water uh, to create these things we call pay streaks. So if you have a curvy creek, so we have a creek that's going down and it's curving around. Let's give it some width here. We've got a creek going like this. And you got a piece of gold that's sitting up here in the flow of water. Got a piece of gold here. The water is rushing down this creek this direction. It's going through, around. That piece of gold is getting pushed by the water. Now, Gold is really heavy, so it doesn't get pushed very well, but it does slowly get pushed by the water down the creek. And it starts traveling all the way down that creek. But gold is like high school students. It's lazy, right? Yes. It doesn't want to take a long path all the way down. So it tries to take the shortest path possible, which means it cuts corners. Instead of following the center of the creek all the way down, that piece of gold is going to cut the corners. It's going to come across here and cut the corner. And then it's going to take a straight line to the next corner, the next apex of the corner. It's going to follow along until it hits that corner. And then it's going to take a straight line to the next one. And then to the next one. And then to the next one. And so on, all the way down the creek. It takes the shortest path possible. It's lazy. It doesn't want to travel farther than it has to. And that has something to do with its weight. Because of its weight and heavy, the water's pushing it. It stays along that path. Now, if that was just one piece of gold, it would slowly travel down that way. But if it's thousands of pieces of gold in a creek, hundreds of thousands of pieces of gold in a creek, as they travel down that path, <coughs> they start to deposit along that path. We got gold all the way along here, along that path. And that is what we end up calling the pay streak. Because the pay, the gold, is in a line all the way down the creek at that point. Remember that term, pay streak, guys. I guarantee you it will be on quiz. Is that legit? Yes. Pay streak. Pay streak, yes. And it will be on a quiz, for sure. Now, when you're out in a creek, yep. when you're out in a creek, it's often hard to access the pay streak out in the middle of the creek because it's underwater. But where the pay streak hits the inside corners and the water level drops in the late summer, early fall, all of a sudden, that pay streak is exposed on all the inside corners. And that's why we try to test those inside corners. Because the pay streak is exposed along that section. Now, if you have a creek that has a big corner in it, so you have a creek that, uh, big corner. So you have this creek coming through, and then there's this great big corner. That pay streak will start, well, let's see, it goes down here, it goes around, it, uh, it goes over here, it goes over, it hits there, and then the pay streak will follow that corner for a long ways all the way around that corner, right in that top edge. Some of the best uh, 
exposures, best bay streaks on uh, Mission Creek over here is where the creek does a big corner like that, creates a great big gravel bar in the summer, so you end up with a big gravel bar here, and you have this long pay streak all the way along the top edge of that gravel bar. Okay. Pay streaks, inside corners. There are a couple instances where that rule of thumb doesn't work. If a creek makes a 90 degree turn, so the creek is coming through nicely, and then all of a sudden it just changes direction, like that. The water, when rushing hard, just slams into that other side. It usually makes a bit of a, a bowl here as it slams in and goes around. There is usually a deposit of gold in a corner like that that is sitting right here, right on the inside uh, corner, but it's small because most of the gold that's coming down actually gets slammed out here and then pushes around the corner and will deposit down here somewhere. It's kind of a different situation when you have a really sharp corner when the water is moving fast. The gold is being pushed so hard it doesn't have a chance to follow that rule of thumb. We're not going to worry about stuff like that. In general, it falls out on the inside of gradual corners. Another reason you might find it in other spots rather than the inside of cor corner is creeks move over time. So you have a creek that a thousand years ago looked like this, and you have all these inside corners that are just loaded with gold a thousand years ago, loaded with gold, but over time creeks move, and maybe the new channel of that creek goes like this. Now all of a sudden, that pay streak that used to be there a thousand years ago is on the outside corner. So there are times when the rule doesn't work. There's times when it's on the outside corner, there's times when that pay streak is a long ways away from that creek because of old channels. But for what we're, we're dealing with here, we want to remember the inside corners of creeks. Yes? So how does a creek or whatever move? Is that just plate tectonics? Uh, no, it's uh, erosion. The water erodes oh, away nice. the banks. Banks fall in. There's landslides. There's all sorts of uh, things that erosion creates over time that change its channel. I'm going to show you a picture on Google Earth of... Uh, the Similkameen River by Princeton. Do you mind hitting the set of lights, the one set of lights here? There we go. Okay, this is the Similkameen River just outside of Princeton. And it's a fairly major river. It's a big one. Now, right now, this image is taken at low water, late summer, early fall, something like that, where the river is just a meandering thing down its greater channel. But if you sort of imagine where all these gravel bars are along here, that when it's in flood, those are all filled up with water. The water is this great big thick wide channel that fills this whole basin all the way down here. So you see right now, the inside, like there's corners everywhere. But at this level, <coughs> gold isn't moving. Gold only moves down creeks when it's in flood. Right now, there's not enough water pressure to move the gold. So gold isn't depositing on inside corners, like right there, like this inside corner here. It's not depositing gold there right now because the water's not flushing hard enough through that uh, system to move it. You need to imagine when it's full pool, when it's really rushing through here, that this is the big inside corner right there, going through there. Right around here is the big inside corner. So the pay streak is going to be up along this edge. It's not always right on the edge. Sometimes it's out a little bit. So it might be going out around this greenery here right now because the water flow is harder out there. 
but somewhere along this bar in here is going to be that pay streak. This inside corner right here, not going to have a pay streak on it because in full pool, that's uh, when the water is uh, fresh left, full pool, spring runoff, when the water is rushing down, the pay streak is going to be along this edge, not out there. You can see other inside corners of channels, old channel uh, channels here, but there's not going to be gold over there, or not much. It's not going to be that big pay streak because it's following this inside edge. Now, there are areas on the Similkameen River here that you, you can sort of zoom out. You can see it sort of meanders down this whole big valley. These big plateaus that are made by meandering rivers like this, you know at one time had the river going elsewhere in it. Most likely, at one time, the river was following this edge. So it's possible to find deposits way over there somewhere. You can find areas along the Similkameen River. Here's a good one. The creek is going out here. But you can actually see an old channel. Still has a bit of water in it that's going over here. At one point in history, the creek would have flown over there somewhere. There's a lot of places along the Smilk Mean you can actually see the old channels going. So the pay streaks could be in other spots. But in general, right now we're worried about the current path of the river. So right now, if I was to ask you where the pay streak is here, you would say it's right along that inside corner right there. And remember, it goes straight line from one to the next. So it goes from this corner to that one. Here's a good example of uh, one of those 90 degree bends. Water comes in here, it smashes against this wall. You can see where it's eroding away a bit of a pocket from it smashing into the wall, then turns and goes downstream. So the goal doesn't necessarily follow that pay streak properly in a sharp turn like that. Google Earth is a great, great uh, little tool here for reading a river to see where gold might be in that river. Uh, there's claims all along Similk Mean. It's claimed all the way along. There's one public panning area right in the town of Princeton that you can go and pan, and anyone's allowed to pan there. Uh, otherwise, the creek is pretty much claimed the whole length of it. All the way down from Princeton, well, all the way from Eastgate, Manning Park, to Headley. Uh, down below Headley, there, you're not allowed to claim, so it's not claimed down there. And there is still gold in it there. Okay, inside corners. Any questions about inside corners? It all makes sense? Cool. This last weekend when I was out panning, I found a really nice nugget. I've got it here to show you. Where? I've got it here to show you. Uh, up at one of my claims. Oh. Up at one of my claims. I've got it here. You want to turn the lights on? You all know inside corners? No, I haven't. No, you can't. <laughs> you all remember inside corners? And what's the name of the line of gold Pay that's formed? Pay Street. Perfect.